Hello, I'm Jennifer Grayson, president of the Greater Chattanooga Association of Realtors. And I'm Dan Grease, president of the Chattanooga Area Multiple Listing Service. We're here today to bring you our report on the local home sales marketplace for the month of October 2011. That's right, Jennifer. I can tell you that the local real estate market experienced a mild lag following positive quarterly figures in both numbers of homes sold and medium price, according to the data we've just released. In October of this year, Southeast Tennessee and the Northwest Georgia area saw the sale of 419 residential units, 5.4% decrease compared to the previous month's sales, and a drop of 5.3% from the same month of 2010. When we make an adjustment for the higher level of activity in 2010 resulting from the home buyer's tax credit, then this year's sales make a bit more sense and are generally in line with expectations. When I looked at the data from the middle of the past decade, it showed exactly what I expected to see, that the unusual bulge in sales was during the overheated housing boom, and current figures are very consistent with past October history. For the month of October, the local median home price was 128.5. That represents a decrease of 3% from the same period one year earlier and a drop of 13.3% from the median price reported in September. While there was a slight decrease in the median price, I don't see that as a threat to homeowners' equity, but more likely an indication that sales within that particular price range are witnessing an increase in demand. Had there been an issue with the median price, I think we would have seen a dramatic upswing in foreclosure sales, and we haven't. They're close to where they've been all along in this environment. I think that people who know the market and who are knowledgeable about real estate understand that there are mild swings when you examine the month-by-month -month horse race of unit sales, but we look at more key indicators than just a raw number of houses sold in any 30-day period. That's very true, Jennifer. We've done a good job of chipping away at the high inventory of a year ago to where we are now looking at 12.6 months of inventory in the MLS system. Add to that the fact that days on the market have dropped since last month by almost two weeks from 145 to 133, and I'd say we're right where we expected to be at this time of the year. I'm Jennifer Grayson. And I'm Dan Grease. Thanks for joining us today for the Chattanooga Market Report for the month of October. See, See you, you next, next month. month.